Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to be discussing with you right now, ladies and gentlemen, is how I personally believe that today's modern day women, black women in particular, lack common sense, um, etiquette. As far as trying to get a job, man, they're dressing any kind of way at the job interview. They're not dressing with dignity or with respect. They'll come up there in some booty shorts or whatever it is or something that is inappropriate, too inappropriate for the person who is recruiting them or interviewing them to even consider them for hire. OK, so I'm going to show you a short 22 second clip. The volume may be low on this particular woman. And then after that, everybody be normal in the audio. It's not me, man. It's the clips and stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what she had on. She went to corporate America wearing this, expecting to get a job, but they told her to leave. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. One second, I pull up on your screen. Mm hmm. One second, everybody. Let me find it. Where is it? I think it's this. Okay, check out what she has on. Listen to what she's saying, and then we're gonna get into the breakdown. Okay, let's get it. Now, that was very inappropriate to wear at a job interview. I think we all would agree with that, right? In corporate America, a white collar job and stuff like that. I don't know who who is raising you women, man, because like um, your parents and people like that, your grandmother are the ones who normally would tell you, put some clothes on when you go get a job, man. If they tell you to go and come back to chain clothes, I wouldn't hire you. You know why? Because if it's my business. I don't care about you, about you being an individual in self-expression. It's my business. I have rules. I have policies. And you will abide by them or you will be gone. So the fact that they told you to come back, I wouldn't even told you to come back. I wouldn't told you that because they already told me right then that you don't have common sense. Okay. Now let's get into uh, what this lady is going to say about it. One second. Oh, TikTok been tripping. Or this might be my software. Let's get it. That woman who wore shorts to her job interview is used to women lying to her. Yep. She is used to women lying to her and a woman probably lied to her and told her that she looked good to wear the outfit. And she came to TikTok looking for validation. Exactly. A lot of these women who are doing the wrong things come to social media to get approval by other people who also do the wrong thing because they'd be like, girl, you look good. They hating on you and they do the same thing that they're doing or they wouldn't even do those same things, but they just want to just keep pushing this narrative of being a mustard back heifer, do what you want. Don't care about anybody else's opinion and stuff. You should care about certain people points of view. I don't give a damn what nobody thinks of me, but I'm not stupid enough to not understand that there are certain groups of people that I should care about. Such as an employer, it matters what they think about you, especially if you're being hired. Okay, so let's get back into it. Looking for validation to tell her that she was right because she's not used to anybody telling her the truth. Like, I mean, it's clear she's used to people telling her she looks good, she looks great, girl, you got this, you're the best, you're phenomenal, you're perfect, lying to her. And she was humbled today. I, I, will, I, will, I will hope that the interviewer humbled her to let her know you need to change. You don't look good. And that's the unfortunate side about women lying to you and telling you that you're perfect, that you're great, and they send you out to fail. Women make other women be crash dummies. Crash dummies teaching crash dummies to continue in crash dumbing in. <laughs> that's what's going on. Women are some of the worst advice givers on this damn planet, okay? They are because they think with emotion, not with logic. Common sense logic would have told you to have the appropriate attire. That's why you don't need to get hired. A lot of you don't need to get hired because if you can't understand that simple principle of carrying yourself with some good, elegant decorum to the point where you look like something that someone would want to hire, okay? If you don't understand that, then you don't need to be, have a job. You don't need to have a job, okay? This woman is, that woman was probably about 30-something years old or late 20s or early 30s and thought she can go to a job showing everything. Now, I just played a video a while ago talking about how a lot of the youngsters are dressing um, horishly, right? This is a result of that, okay? Showing everything, being what you want, is not the way to be in this world. You have to conform to some rules. 
thankfully they want to offer her you know to do the interview again but everybody everybody doesn't get a second chance but when you lie to women and tell them that they look great you send them out to fail you send them out uh to to be on the wayside by themselves lying to them and she couldn't even take accountability because again she's used to people lying to her she never had to take accountability she's never had to say you know what you're right i should change because i've been told by everybody in my life girl you look good yes wear the shorts yeah the shorts look good wear the shorts stop lying to each other because it does not look good it doesn't benefit you and it is harmful to your to you and other women she is absolutely correct. Now, let me show you a gentleman's point of view about that. I think we are in agreement that that was the wrong attire. I think we all are. But let me go ahead and do it anyway. See, some of these women don't have fathers, man. Some of them don't have no... You know what? I'm trying to find it. One second, y'all. Boom. They don't have fathers, man. And they need direction. They need instructions and stuff. And even though... I come across as stern and hard, whatever. You need this type of teaching because apparently you're lacking. You're not getting it. And it's a damn shame, man. Let's get it. Hold on. To the woman who wore shorts to the interview and was very confused why they turned her away, um, let me hold your hand. When was wearing shorts ever acceptable to a corporate interview? I couldn't imagine going to an interview and wearing khaki shorts or any sort of casual shorts and thinking the company was going to fucking take me seriously i mean interview tip i didn't know this was lost in translation you literally just asked the recruiter what should i wear to the interview for a woman ankle pants suit any sort of suit and a long skirt to the knee let's keep this short um don't wear shorts to an interview duh you know what i mean <laughs> And put another on the screen. Y'all need this, man. Some woman out there needs it because she's about to go someplace right now. Dressed like, oh, who cares? I'm going to do what I want. You know what I mean? I want you to hear this young black sister talk about it, too. See, the women out there and the men out there who represent sensibility, I want y'all to know y'all not alone. There are people, according to these clips I'm showing you, that think some things that people are doing are just outright dumb and asinine. So... Don't feel like you're the only one out there. You're not the one that's crazy. The ones that are crazy are the ones acting like mustard back helpers, okay? Let's keep going. The young lady that got turned away from a job interview because she wore shorts does not surprise me at all because a lot of these kids of this newer generation, they do not know how to conduct themselves in a professional environment because they haven't been taught. I don't even think they're teaching it in school anymore because I remember when I was in high school, they taught us how to write and format a resume. Like, I don't even think they teaching these younger kids how to write resumes anymore, let alone how to dress professionally for a job interview. And I think a lot of people are being really mean to her in her comments, saying that you should have known better, you should have known not to wear short to an interview. And honestly, I believe she genuinely did not know. I do believe she can use this moment as a teacher. That woman knew. She knew exactly what she was doing. It's just another example of, I do what I want. I'm an independent bride. You can't tell me nothing. I'm a baddie. I do what I want. And then she'll get mad at the interviewers in the job because they didn't hire her. <laughs> but listen, like, do not wear shorts to a job interview. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> right. And you have to tell a grown woman that. That is pathetic. I'm going to put, now I'm going to show you a white lady who is actually a recruiter or interviewer. And she's going to give you her two cents about what happened. So hold on for a second. I pull it on the screen. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. That's all it is. And what I've noticed as a recruiter is that a lot of the younger, newer generations that are just now entering the workforce don't really have a lot of tools on how to best present themselves in an interview. And really, I understand that identity is a big thing. You don't want to change how you are for a job and things like that, which I definitely understand and can empathize with and have been there myself but i don't care your job is not the place where you get to be who you are a job is not a place of being an individual a job is a place of where the person must conform to the rules the policies of the and the regulations of that place you leave your individuality outside the work environment okay you be who you want to on your time okay but while you here working with me or working for me you are what i want you to be Period. It's sad that you got to tell people this stuff, 
But it's the truth. Some people don't, like she said, they don't have the tools. They don't have enough common sense to know that when you go to somebody's job that you are expected to work. They don't know that when you go to somebody's job that you are expected to conduct and carry yourself and present yourself in a certain way that goes along with policies and dress codes. Are you serious? So I don't want to hear this. I empathize about how you, f man, fuck your empathy, man. I, I don't got nothing to do with that. You come here for a check. You ain't come here to be an individual. You're not here to show who you can be, what you think you are. You're not here to be a creative, or if, if, unless that's what they paying you for. You're here to get a check. That's what it is. That's all. There's also the idea around bias that occurs when you are going into a job interview. And from a recruiter lens, when she was offering, that recruiter was offering for you to change, she was really doing her best to like give you a solid shot. Because honestly, what happens is that when you show up dressed even remotely inappropriate in the eyes of the interviewer or recruiter, it creates an insane amount of bias where that's all they will see. They won't see anything beyond the shorts. They won't see anything beyond a tank top, a tube top, if you're wearing a political statement on a t-shirt or anything like that. Um, not saying you look slovenly, but there are some people who show up looking very messy and not put together. And that creates the bias, unfortunately, that you know the recruiter or hiring manager won't see anything beyond it. And I know that's shitty and I know people will get angry about that, but unfortunately that's the workforce. They have to be able to see that you can actually add to this company and that you can present yourself in a way that's appropriate for to represent the company. So the really good thing about going into an in-person interview is being able to kind of scope how the other employees dress and see what their general dress code is. So like, I went in for an interview once, I dressed, you know, business casual and I saw everybody was wearing t-shirts and jeans and I was like, great. Everybody's wearing hoodies, hats, whatever. Everyone's really casual. So as soon as I got that job, boom, I was wearing t-shirts and jeans too. So take the opportunity when you are coming into an interview to present yourself business casual, appropriate length bottoms, appropriate tops, nothing crazy, nothing too tight, nothing too revealing, unfortunately, um, because once that bias is created and they see that you're dressed a certain kind of way, they won't see anything else. They will look at your resume and it just won't hit. They will just, all they will think of is that outfit and you could be the perfect candidate for that role. You could be ideal, but they will not see anything beyond that outfit. So really do your best to put your best foot forward. Still try to keep your personality in there, but you know, again, hopefully this helps. You can absolutely do it. I, I hoping that is helpful for anyone else out there. And again, the shorts look great. You look fantastic. Just don't use them for an interview. Common sense ain't common. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, but yeah. And I also like to add, there are some people who go to um, job interviews with their hair, their hair not combed. Their grooming is terrible as well. Well, that's another episode if I recover that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. You know, I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. Y'all take it easy now, you yeah? <laughs>